Hey everybody. So in my last video I talked about what it's like to create a game uh, without using a game engine. So to just write it from scratch, C++. Um, I, the example I gave was using SDL2, um, but the example was uh, writing code and getting set up for collision handling. So now I want to go to the other opposite end of things uh, and show you what it's like to create a game and the kind of thing you're going to run into creating a game uh, with a fully featured um, game engine. And I'm going to be using Godot or Godot uh, engine. I've heard it pronounced both ways. 3.2 is what uh, version we're on here. So this is actually, this is coming from a tutorial, you might recognize this, by um, Heartbeast. It's a great tutorial. I'm just going to pull it up here real quick. Um, so this is, uh, it's actually P7 and P8 are the collision ones, but uh, this is the YouTube channel Heartbeast. He has some phenomenal tutorials on Godot and uh, I think some pixel art things and stuff like that. So um, definitely check him out if you want to learn um, Godot or maybe even some other game engines. I'm not, I haven't looked through all of his videos, but uh, this course is, it's really good. He's really good. He explains everything. He goes slow and he seems to understand things well. So, um, but anyway, so here's where we're at. Um, let me show you the game real quick. And uh, so as you can see, this is the little dude. He moves around and um, all this has been created that you see this whole game, everything here. Uh, it, well, the pixel art was from an art kit, but uh, all the, the code and everything that's happening, uh, the the map layout, everything like that was created uh, in two or three days, I think, now. It's only, I mean, it doesn't take long at all with, with a game engine, so. Um, but you can see my guy collides uh, with the cliffs there. And then if he uh, hits a bush, he collides with the bush. So let me just show you what that looks like uh, on the back end with using this game engine. And it's going to be similar for other game engines as well. Uh, visual game engines anyway, with like a, a GUI. Um, something like Love 2D or um, Mono Game. I'm not even sure if Mono Game would be considered a game engine. But uh, definitely, like Love 2D is a game engine, and that's all. That's all written. I don't think there's a a GUI for that. Um, so that that's going to be a little bit different. But this is uh, there's still going to be built-in functions for collision and stuff like that. So so uh, this is the world. Inside the world, we have uh, you can see the player, and then each bush has a uh, scene represented there to represent it. Here's the tile maps. And uh, each of those have, have collision. So the first thing um, we set up was the collision for the player. This is the code that, this is all the code that's tied to the player, basically. It's written in uh, what's called GD script. It's basically similar to Python, as you can see, probably. Um, so this is movement. This is all movement here. So there's like quite a bit of code for movement, but it is pretty slick movement that we put in in there and uh, animation as well I guess um, but down here this last function move and slide uh, is actually a, it handles the collision there so it's all pretty much in this function um, of course the movement is involved with collision obviously but um, so there's there's a function move and collide and then there's move and slide and they just each of those handles differently like how your player kind of reacts when it collides with an object and uh, we went with move and slide because it looks nicer for for this uh, action RPG in this course that uh, Heartbeast is is doing. Um, so basically, once you have that, that's what uh, you know says. Okay, if there's a collision object, then that's what's going to happen. Um, and then you can see the player here. So this is the player scene, which has the script in it. But then if we uh, you can see over here there's a collision shape 2D. And that, if we go here, is this little shape here. So instead of just using a box, which I was using in my game engine, because uh, that, that was the most simple 
you can go a step up kind of and just make the collision down here and with that it makes it nice because um, <clears throat> then like when I collide with this bush my player instead of like colliding here at, at its head and stopping he can you know, glide there and then he can even go behind the bush a little bit so uh, so that collision object is put on the player and then each bush uh, gets a collision shape and actually well actually just one bush gets a collision shape and then uh, we just duplicate that but um, so there's the collision shape for the bush that's all set up right over here there's just a few configurations uh, settings and very simple super simple and you can actually you know drag uh, and do a lot of that by hand and um, so we got our player and our bush both have the collision there and that's what makes those two collide that's super simple right and then uh, the tile map uh, we go to the tile set and this is where you set up the collision there and basically it's just uh, setting you click on this click this and then click it again and it sets that square as a collision you know as, as being like solid basically so the so things will collide with it and uh, we set that for each of those in that tile set and that's basically it that's that's how you set up collision so you, so basically as you can see the some of the advantages are um, not just that it's quicker but since it's quicker you can actually you know you and in less time than it takes to set up a very simple rudimentary collision uh, not using a game engine you can actually uh, s set up a pretty complex collision uh, using a game engine because that stuff's already built for you basically you're just you're just setting parameters so uh, so yeah that's what it's like with a game engine uh, you can go a little more complicated and you can focus on things like animation or you know other stuff that uh, that I haven't even gotten close to yet with uh, the game engine that I'm making with C++ and SDL2. So yeah, I hope this, uh, you know, just like the last video, I hope it gives you an idea, helps you maybe decide whether you want to use a game engine or just code from scratch because coding from scratch can be super fun too. It's it's really rewarding once you finally do get something simple, some kind of simple collision even. Um, and it's uh, it can be fun to think you have to think on a, a much deeper level than you do when you're when you're using a game engine like this. So there's a you know, and you're going to learn a lot more. You, definitely, I have a huge, much greater appreciation for something like Godot Engine now after after trying to make my own. So it uh, so there's that too. So anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you hated it. And uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Peace out.